Hi everyone, it's Akira with the Cato C Art Challenge. There were a couple prompts I gave to you, all about various funny things to do with your warrior Cato C's and Cato C's. We'll start with the one that's most relevant to my channel, Euro C's meeting Warrior Cats characters. And this time, I'm participating. I made examples for every prompt. So I did Akira meeting Ivypool and talking about how she's so epic and deserves to be deputy and have a super edition. But Ivypool doesn't really care for such enthusiastic praise. She is just annoyed and eventually bored. I did invite people to copy my comic if they liked. So here is Sparkpelt being scared away by a fan and Squirrelflight being confused by an OC over explaining their backstory. Moving on, Darley Charlie's character travels to see Firestar and lands a few years too early and gives Rusty a few spoilers. Well, you can't blame an excited fan for upsetting the balance of time and space. They're just showing appreciation after all. It's the thought that counts. I also had an option in this challenge for people to just have regular warrior cats meet each other. Cinderpelt isn't too happy with Blue Star when she finds out that Deadfoot could become warrior and deputy just fine. Back to OCs. The little Butterball is just a sweet, honest Tiger Claw fan. Who would have guessed that a villain capable of murder would be so scary IRL? Meanwhile, this character Moon is a bit more lucky when meeting a villain, Maple Shade, because, well, she's got the size advantage. Aw, July is such a big Hollyleaf fan. So interested in her family, and the prophecy, and, um, her methods for killing Ash for her. Normal stuff, normal stuff. Moonshade here loves Jayfeather's grumpiness, but experiencing it first paw when they try to touch his stick? They weren't prepared for that. Come on, Jayfeather, sharing is caring. There are two types of OCs. Ones you can draw meeting Spotted Leaf, and ones you can draw in the dark forest with Hawk Frost. Which one is your cat? This character, Crystal Fragment, is meeting a cat with a very similar design to her in Misty Star. I don't know, I just think their mouths being wide open like that is hilarious. And finally, I have to give a shout out to number one Ant Pelt Stan. I've seen their art of Ant Pelt in challenge submissions for a while. It's always fun seeing them show their devotion to this minor character, with their own design for him and everything. The hug is absolutely adorable and well earned. Alright, time for the second prompt. This one is the most directly related to the title of this video. It's your cat OCs, Jonas Meme Cats. I got things started off with a few of my favorite meme cats from recent years. The spinning legend Maxwell, the expressive screaming crying cat, and the silly and honestly underrated laundry cats. A few people joined in on the screaming cat. They are so sad. Someone help these cats. Nice. Jay made their OC do the iconic Maxwell spin. And Grimshi did a lot of fun animation with their OC Jack as Maxwell. Look at him go. And the animation continues with Popcat. The art really just pops, you know? Nothing to see here, just the cat ascending. Ah, the famous no like banana cat. Kitty Arts did a very funny meme of a cat with a googly eye on their face. Webpaw wants to turn on the Xbox, which they won't get because it is my turn. Shiba Asi drew their cat as adorable as the viral Siamese cat. Oh wow, look at this goober. Ah, the cat with human legs. Adorable. Just kidding, it's terrifying. I also let people draw their cats in the memes without cats. Not many people did, but here is a petite cat playing a really large violin. I mean, the joke was that it wasn't a violin in the original image, but because cats are smaller, maybe it is a violin this time? I don't know. Smurf cat. The latest meme. Though sadly it's probably already outdated by the time this video comes out. Still gotta appreciate the cute art though. And prompt three is puns. Here is my wonderful selection of cat puns. It's meow or never. Trust me, I'm a professional. You are perfect. And excellent service. I am satisfied. Of course I invited people to do the same puns if they wanted. So right meow, we have another meow or never. But I won't pause on this submission for too long because I gotta show you how perfect this one is with the little heart in their arms. Personally, I love all the takes people had on the suit. 
Love the professional silly goober. And the science professor here. And this catisfied cat has catapulted into space. And some more puns. This is a kit T, a very pretty kitty. Darley Charlie made a comic. Oh no, what a catastrophe. What are you making? Pasta? So adorable. Pardon me? Are you serious, right meow? Self portrait. Now, would a cartoon cat drawing in a cartoon art style mean the art is photorealistic? If so, that art would be a masterpiece. Now, the cat puns were just one category of submissions. I also allowed for people to submit non cat puns. You have a pizza, my heart. This pun is a bit cheesy, but it works no matter how you slice it. Nothing's in popsicle. Now that's a cool attitude to have. This is a mousing? Wait, is this a pun on the word amazing or amusing? I guess the answer to that question is a mousery. You're playing with ants. I hope they don't antagonize you. Well, I wouldn't worry. They can't do much damage. Let's be friends. Oh, this art is so beautiful. Okay, we're done. I am so sorry for all those puns. I hope you accept my apology. On to the fourth prompt. This one is very silly. There was a joke in my server. Someone might have got it from TikTok or something. I don't know. When people saw art they liked, they said they would eat it. So why not visualize it? Here's my take. Just delicious stuff, really. I did allow people to redraw my comic, if they wanted. Not much to say here, other than that you all have really cute characters. And I also let people come up with their own takes on the subject. Here we have a food critic with a mustache. A cat racing to snatch it in their jaws. A couple submissions with chopsticks. My favorites are probably the ones where the artists are so caught off guard and uncomfortable with the situation. Also, I can only take so much of this joke, so I allowed for art appreciation submissions that didn't involve eating it. Kayumi's character puts it on a fridge. Ragged Snow awards you with a lovely crown for your amazing art. And a certain cat kicks their friend out of their seat in the car to make room for the art. Funny stuff. Overall, I had a lot of fun with this challenge, both with drawing my own submissions and with seeing yours. Thank you all for participating. All right. Bye, everyone.